Let's start by talking about redundancies. Redundancies occur when you say the same thing more than once. Here's an example. The electric vehicle is particularly suited for work, home, work, commuting. In this case, we can delete work, home, work because commuting means traveling between home and work. Now, you might not think that's a big deal, but watch what happens when we have multiple redundancies in one sentence. I need you to have that report in by the deadline at the end of the week on Friday. I need you to is the same as deadline, and Friday is the same as the end of the week. When I read that, I feel like I'm searching for meaning that just isn't there. What's worse, readers start to skim sentences with redundancies, and when your readers aren't reading carefully, you're in trouble. Here's one way we might edit a sentence like this. I need you to have that report in by Friday. It gets even worse when someone writes a paragraph that is filled with redundancies. I just wanted to call your attention to the fact that I need you to have that report on work home work commuting in by the deadline at the end of the week on Friday. Our past history around here may not have been absolutely perfect, and I totally understand, but I'd like to plan ahead better. Also, Kevin is a man who likes to complete all things and all his work in a timely manner. It'll be a great benefit for him to get things done fast. Here's how it looks without any redundancies. I just wanted to call your attention to the fact that I need you to have that report on commuting in by Friday. Our history around here may not have been perfect, and I understand, but I'd like to plan better. Also, Kevin likes to complete all things in a timely manner. It'll be great benefit for him to get things done fast. That's better, but it's still not great, right? I got rid of the redundancies, but I could still make it shorter. That's because deleting redundancies is just one way to write efficiently. Next up, avoiding wordy writing. 